Now at 6, the swine flu claims another life here in the Miami Valley. Good evening. Once again, I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Marsha Bonhart. Health officials say the victim is a 26-year-old woman from Clark County. Sonu Wasu live with new details in our top story at 6. Sonu? That's right. We have just learned this victim's name. She is 26-year-old Tasha Robinson of Springfield, and we are told she was a very healthy 26-year-old woman that did not fall into the high-risk group. Now, despite that fact, health officials do want to stress flu clinics like this one are extremely important. Now, they do have more than 7,000 doses of the H1N1 vaccine here today, and as of 5 p.m., they vaccinated more than 2,000 people here in Clark County. They are hoping to get that vaccine into as many people as possible. Now we're told that Robinson did not display any of the classic symptoms of the H1N1 virus. She appeared to have bronchitis when she went to the hospital. She had cough, congestion, slight headache, but she did not have the high fever that's typically associated with the swine flu. We're told she got sick last Saturday and died on Tuesday morning at her home. If the people of our community fit the qualifications, we ask them to take the time to go out and get the vaccine. It's not just to protect each individual who gets the vaccine, but it's vaccinating to protect the spread of the disease in our community. Again, you're looking at live pictures of the vaccination clinic taking place here in Clark County. This clinic will be going on until 8 o'clock tonight. Any leftover vaccines will be used in a later flu clinic, and that date will be announced at a later date. Health officials do urge you to come out here and get that vaccine. If you fall into that high-risk group, you do not have to be a Clark County resident to come out here today. Reporting live, Sonu Wasu, 2 News on your side. And several of our counties will be hosting H1N1 vaccine clinics throughout this week. First, in Preble County, officials have just rescheduled their clinic for Thursday at the Eaton First Church of God. They had to postpone last week's clinic, you'll recall, due to a vaccine shortage at that time. Priority groups can go from noon to 3 and then again from 4 to 7 p.m. Now, Miami County, your clinic is tomorrow from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Miami Valley Center Mall. On Wednesday, Shelby and Warren counties will administer vaccines. And and finally, on Thursday, Montgomery County will be holding a clinic at UD Arena. Remember, all these clinics are for at-risk groups only at this time. For more information, log on to WDTN.com.